Latinos do not see Afro Latinos as their people. So you want to hear, you know, people basically say how because they're black, they're not accepted. How do I make you guys understand that not all Latinas are light skinned with curly hair or white with straight hair? Some Latinas, honey, look like more. Ta da! Let me tell y'all about this event that I went to where there were a lot of Latinas who didn't know I was also Latina. So we were all sitting waiting for the dinner and this group of girls were like, oh my gosh, they got all the Latinas together and this and that. Mind you, they were just talking about them and I was sitting next to them, but they didn't know I was Latina. So somebody in the table asked me, oh, hey, like, where are you from? And then I said I was from Honduras and the girls went, no way, I had no clue you were Latina. And I was like, at first I felt a little uncomfortable, but then I'm like, well, they wouldn't even know if I'm Latina because in the States, people assume that me being black means I'm African American. So then I told them I was from Honduras and they went saying that they didn't know there were black people there and all that. It was definitely an interesting experience and a moment for me to educate my people. <laughs> uh, growing up at home, I was always Latino. And when I'd step foot outside my house, I would be an African-American man in America, dealing with everything, you know, African-American men have to deal with when they walk out the house. Uh, but at Howard was where I truly learned that we are a diaspora around the world. And I learned how similar we as black people are, regardless of whether you're in Jamaica, uh, the Virgin Islands, Cuba, Haiti, we are all one big plethora of blackness that go back to our roots, which is Africa. And so for me, it was less about being Latino at Howard and more about being Afro at Howard and, 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 and realizing how similar we are regardless of where the ship may have ended up and placed our relatives. Did you ever feel like you had to choose between your identities at Howard? Where you know, were people saying, hey, are you black or Latino? Did you have to explain your lineage to a lot of people there? I've only had to explain it to Latinos because uh, Latinos would ask me, well, why do you say that you're black? Or are you choose why do you say you're black first and Latino second? And I always remind them, say the word, it's Afro-Latino. What comes first? Afro, right? It's because that's the race. That's the DNA. Latino is a culture. It's not a race. So when I say that I'm black, I am black in Cuba. I am black in America. I am black in China. Wherever I go, I'm black first. My Latinidad, which I embrace equally, that's my culture. And they're not mutually exclusive. But if you do a DNA test, what is it going to tell you? What percentage African I am? So, so that explanation is what I've had to do so that people understand that I'm not choosing one over the other, but I'm speaking about the nuance of what it is to be black, regardless of what comes after the Afro. I think the craziest experience about being an Afro-Latina in the state is when other Latinos tell you that you're not Latina. Recently, this person was going back and forth with me about how I don't look Latina. And I kept explaining to them like how there's black people in Latin America, you know, and how in Latin America, Latinos are very diverse. Like we don't all look the same. Like we grew up with different races who are also Latinos. But to be like, no, you're not. You don't look Latina and you don't speak Spanish. How do you know I don't speak Spanish? And then on top of that, you're not familiar with how diverse Latin America is. So it's like, get the pasta.